Karen Jackley Live. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how we can connect this. So what is this? This is my line mixer to this. So guys, what is this? This is my audio interface. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can connect a line mixer to an audio interface and how we can record our performance using Audacity. So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. So guys, this is my line mixer. This is my audio interface. In this video, I'm going to show you in detail how this can be connected to this and then we can record our performances using our laptop in audacity okay so guys how i set the line mixer and how i connect the different devices to that i have a separate video the link of that video i'll leave in the description section and how i hooked up all the hardware of my audio interface for that also i have another video the link of that video also i will leave in the description section so guys now this video is for those people who want to connect here their line mixer to the audio interface and they want to record their performance now guys sometimes what happens you have a line mixer which is a very old one and it cannot be directly connected to your pc in that case you need an audio interface the, the output of your line mixer will go to your audio interface and then audio interface will send all the sound all the music digitally to your pc or to your laptop where you can record it okay so guys let us start at the first thing i am going to plug into my line mixer is my condenser mic so guys here is my condenser mic so because of the camera angles i cannot show you everything so this is the xlr cable of condenser mic and here it goes to mic input okay so then the next thing which i connect to my line mixer is my keyboard so guys on the side is my keyboard which you cannot see but this is the cable which comes from my keyboard i connect it here okay now guys this is my audio interface okay you can see the different things here different outputs okay so one is for the headphones so guys here is the jack for my headphones i plug it in okay and here again there are two outputs left and right so this output it goes to your studio monitors so one is for left ah, you can see the click and other one is for right so now my audio interface output one goes to the headphone a left and right goes to my studio monitor left and right okay so i keep it here so different devices connected to my line mixer and my line mixer is connected to my headphones and studio monitors so now what we have to do is now we need to connect our line mixer to our audio interface okay for that so these are the cables which i will use so this is 6.5 mm jack okay and this also they look like this okay so here is the output of my line mixer left and right okay so the output comes from the line mixer and this goes as an input to my audio interface okay so here you can see two one and two so we want to record our output in stereo so one goes here left and right goes here okay now output of line mixer goes an input to my audio interface now we are ready to record okay now this is the output from my audio interface okay so on one side it has this slot other side it has usb so this will connect to my pc okay so i'll hook this up you can see here usb usb it goes here now whatever comes from here it will come here and from here using this it will go to my laptop okay now guys let us hook this thing up to the laptop and then we will try to play something and we will try to record okay
so guys now let us give power to our line mixer let us turn it on so plugged and on i'll keep it on the side okay so guys and here is the output which comes from my audio interface let us plug it to the usb of my laptop okay so here it is plugged in okay so guys now see the line mixer output goes to audio interface okay and the audio output of audio interface has two types of outputs one go to the headphones and the studio monitor and other digital output it comes to my laptop okay so line mixer is on the audio interface will be turned on the moment i switch on my laptop okay so let us switch on the laptop ah see when the laptop is on you can hear that tick sound see the audio interface is also on okay so guys now we are ready to record okay now you see i connected my keyboard also to my line mixer and i also connected my condenser mic okay so guys first we will play something from the keyboard now see when i play any note from the keyboard the sound it comes from my studio monitors see so basically from keyboard it goes to my line mixer from line mixer it goes to my audio interface from my audio interface it comes to my studio monitors and it also goes to my laptop okay yeah now guys i will open audacity in my laptop here it is okay so guys now in audacity you can see line audio box usb 96 so it is detecting my audio interface see it is audio box usb 96 now whatever i speak in my condenser mic or whatever i play from my piano okay it will go to audacity and we can record it here so for example let us start now see it is recording so i'll play something from my piano see you can see that okay so let us stop it now guys see so it comes in stereo because we have two instruments connected to our audio interface left and right and here you can see left and right stereo input so let us play what we recorded okay so guys this is how you do it okay now similarly if i speak something in my condenser mic okay that input will also go to my audacity so guys this is my condenser mic connected to my line mixer so i'll turn on the phantom power it will turn on my mic see and you can see sound is coming from the studio monitor okay now let us record something in audacity again guys i'll use the same file and we will hit record okay now i am speaking in my condenser mic and you can see the graph in the audacity it is recording hello hello okay 
so let us play what we recorded and you can see the audacity it is recording hello 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 okay now guys if you see i'll record again now guys if you see i'm talking in my line mixer and all the effects of the line mixer are also coming to my audacity like echo delay repeat everything is coming okay so guys in case you do not need these effects i can turn it off from my line mixer and see now the audio is plain okay no effects okay so this is the good thing about connecting a line mixer to your audio interface because in audio interface we do not have lot of effects okay so those effects can be added from a line mixer like this okay and you have more options to play with okay so here we go so guys i hope you understand so th in this video i tried my best to explain how we can connect a line mixer to an audio interface and how we can record our audio okay okay so guys i hope you understand okay so guys if you like my videos uh, please subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more uh, home studio setups how to do stuff and all kind of things so guys all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned